was the last day of World Carnivore Month. This is January the 31st. And it is. 31st day in a row of us sharing every single thing we eat. Yeah. And this one's birthday today. Do you want to tell everybody how old you are or do you want to tell them you just turned 21? Ooh. I don't know if they'd buy that. <laughs> I turned 43 today. I do not color my hair. That's no, he doesn't. Thing. It's my one claim to fame. I still have I have more grays than he does. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I turned 43 today. I have already talked to um, my family. So uh, big thanks to everybody. It's kind of a... Forgot to tell you, Courtney and Dan wished you a happy birthday. Oh, too. nice. Well, thank you to them. It's um, unfortunately it's on a Tuesday, on a work day, but... <laughs> There's nothing to do on a Tuesday. That's it's okay. We're nothing going to, exciting. We've checked into our flight. We're going to Shark tomorrow. Super excited about that. Spend um, four days up there. That'll be really nice. And, um, you know, anytime that you see family, friends, and throw a little work in. So, I think that'll be a good, a good few days. So, I'm so excited about that. And I'm not starting off the day with a shake today. We're actually starting off with some heavy cream. Grande Nitro Cold Brew with heavy cream in it. That's uh, our new favorite drink right now. Yeah. So, we each got one. Mine's over there. I yes. can't reach it, but <laughs> we each got one starting off the day like that. And, and then we will take you along for our last full day of strict carnivore. Crazy. It's so crazy. Before we start February and we'll have new February goals. So. The month has, has flown by. I cannot believe really we've done this every single day. I, know. I never thought we would stick to it. Really? I was my I never keep my New Year's resolution. that's not true. I don't I yeah, that's often not true. keep my New Year's resolutions yeah. <laughs> long term, but I, I don't I didn't think I'd be able to do this. I thought I'd get tired of filming every day and I've actually loved it. So um, no, it's been good. It we still have not figured out what we're doing for February. We do no, have two yet. cheat days in a row coming up. Um, Got some travel in back February. Back to back because we are going to visit friends on Thursday and my grandma on Friday. And in both cases, they're going to want to eat good. So we're going <laughs> to eat good with them. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we don't really have any February um, diet and lifestyle goals other than to continue to pursue what makes us feel our best. Happy, healthy. That's the main thing. Oh, I thought so, you were pointing at me like I was supposed to finish the sentence. I'm no, like, all of us. <laughs> I don't know. Is there another one? Probably Happy is. and healthy is as far as I get. That's as far as, as I get, too. But, Most uh, likely, yeah. February 1st is um, going to be yet another carnivore day, uh, yeah. just because it's a Wednesday and we don't have plans to see anybody. Yeah. To, uh, so, th that was not... Wednesday. And then Thursday is friends. Friday is family. Saturday, we're coming back to Florida. And we will be traveling again the very last week of February um, mm -hmm. back to North Carolina again. So mm -hmm. we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah. Valentine's Day um, is also in the mix. and uh, Totally forgot about that. You're right about that too. <laughs> Random dog <You> do. <laughs> over here. All right. That's been a long enough intro, I think. We're going to take you along for this last day of World yeah, Carnivore so Month for birthday. Huh. And for yet another day of eating like carnivores. Let's go. Stay tuned. It's 12 o'clock and we're about to start making what I guess would be breakfast for us even though it's lunch. <laughs> Michael and I haven't eaten anything yet and we're getting a little hungry. So we're making six each of these little pizza squares. Just use um, a brownie pan that's all corners. Put a, enough shredded cheese in the bottom to cover the bottom. This is the taco blend that I'm using. And Michael likes pepperoni on his pizza, so we use this Hormel Natural Choice brand, and I put two pepperonis on each of his pizzas. Yes. And then you stick it in to broil, just keep an eye on it, maybe six or seven minutes or so, mm -hmm. just kind of keep an eye on your cheese. Yep. This is about nine minutes here, <laughs> looking pretty crispy. So this is them straight out of the oven. We're gonna let them cool down and stop sizzling before we try to get them out of these pans. And here's mine, they're done, and I've put a light layer of salt on them. All right, almost three o'clock, and I'm gonna make the rest of the meat I had from the bone broth that I made in a little bit of bone broth. I'm boiling it to make a soup. And then over here, we've started to air fry some random meat. We're not really sure. <laughs> Out of all this, what is Michael's and what is mine? I'm gonna probably eat whatever he feels like he doesn't want. Birthday. This, 
birthday dinner. <laughs> Looks kind of sad when you put it that way, doesn't it? <laughs> it's okay. This is way too much to count. There's no way I'm going to count all Michael's. A bunch Rain. of bacon. This, this is what you call a plate full of, let's finish everything in the yes. refrigerator that's already been opened because yes. we're traveling for the next four days. So I made a pound of bacon and 12 of the sausages. We mm -hmm. split, Jules has three and three of that. And I had two hot dogs left, so I had that. And then of course my pickles and my raw cheese over there. Yep. yep. And my bone broth and the, this is all the meat that was left from when I made my bone broth. So I have a full container of just broth in the refrigerator. I wanted to finish up the soup that I had left. So I feel like I need to give you back some of no, these that you gave it. me because I'm not stop sure it. this is enough food for you. <laughs> but that's birthday dinner. That's yeah. January the 31st. That's uh, that's our, our meal for the day. <laughs> little outfit change for me. I, uh, <laughs> I was trying out that shirt over the last couple days as part of my declutter something every mm -hmm, day mm -hmm. for the month of February. What did um, you decide? I, I decided that I absolutely cannot stand that shirt. It, irrita <laughs> it irritates me every second that I have it on because the strings keep the coming strings. untied and the back keeps hiking up and riding up. And I think it's hilarious that somehow I managed to film like two flute videos, uh, maybe like three or four YouTube videos wearing the uh -huh. same shirt that I'm like, I never want to see this shirt again. So it is in, you'll see it in February is what I decluttered in the month of February. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in my, sorry, my Cavapoo okay. mom, mom. t-shirt yeah. because if you don't have a Cavapoo, you are missing out as the best dog. You can probably hear her over there drinking water, but. Thirsty. It's can you believe we are done with 541. carnivore month? We are closing our food window on the last day of the month. Which Cheers. You know, 31 days in a row. You know what we're doing right now. To everyone. We're finishing up Cheers. Our, Can we cheer? Yeah. <laughs> our growler since we're leaving tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Our big dog kombucha on Merritt Island, yeah. Brevard County, Florida. Best kombucha ever. Not hard kombucha. No, this one's actually the medicinal kombucha. So... I just cannot believe this month is over already of recording everything that we eat. I know. No, me me either. It, it flew by. You know, we started this in December, but filming it January 1st, and it still doesn't feel like it's been another week. Yeah, on top we've, of um, we, we've actually we been strict carnivore for Five and a half. 31 plus 38 days. 38 days. <laughs> we started filming on January the 1st, but we yeah. actually went very strict carnivore on December the 24th when we got home just in time for Christmas, but all of our family well, Christmas travels was the week before Christmas. It felt like we ate for a year, <laughs> ate junk food for a year we the were week in, before. We were in New York City <laughs> the week before Christmas, so we had a little bit of everything one would ever want to eat. And, and Charlotte then, with the family. But so, it was really fun to join the was. carnivore community for, for a was. month and... Um, I want to do some more videos like this. Not not every day, but um, it's been fun to be part of a community of people who eat like this on a regular basis and yeah. share share their it's ideas fun. and share how they live and how they feel. You know how the way they eat makes them feel. Yes, yeah. I'm not going to call it a diet. I no. try and tell people how I eat. I don't want to call it weird. I, I, it's our I lifestyle. don't like, and I'm guilty of it. Um, I don't like when I say we've been eating strict or we've been eating right. Um, we've been eating the way we. We've been eating, yeah, we've been eating the way we <laughs> truly want to eat. And yeah. we've been feeling the best we've ever felt in our life. True. Um, True. I, I, at some point, we'll probably want to make a video talking about all the the benefits, the pros and the cons mm -hmm. of eating a carnivore diet. That's not a not a topic to get into during this series. But, um, but we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot. We, I, I, maybe love isn't the right word, but I have loved the way that I have felt, the way that I have slept, the way that I have not gotten sore going through my normal exercise routine. I can put this where I can rest. I have felt more productive. I have felt more creative. And while I might not have loved moments of the diet, I might not have liked even some of the meals that I ate, it is something that I want to continue to do the majority of my time every week. So, like Julie said yesterday, we are picking. I'm going to even call. I'm going to call them alternative days, non-carnivore days. Standard American That's the only diet. Thing I'm going to say. Sad days. <laughs> Sad days. <laughs> but that we we as soon as we get back from wherever it is that we may be traveling, it will be. This is what we're doing, um, and this is how we're doing it. 
and this it was it's it's fair to say even before we did this uh-huh. 31 day challenge but mm-hmm. it was fair to say that we were I don't like the word strict, but we were strict carnivores five and or six days out of every week. So this is not like a new lifestyle for us. No. What was new um, for us was having no, and I don't like the word cheat days, but having no standard American diet days in any given month. But that, yeah. for the last 12 months before this month started, January of 2022 until December, mm-hmm. um, we never went through a period of time where we were this dedicated to this lifestyle yeah, this true. many days in a row. So it's taught me a lot. Um, it, it has definitely taught me that this is the way that I do feel my optimal. My energy level is the best. Yeah. My skin feels the best. Um, in a lot of ways. Like I used to be the person who put lotion on body lotion on head to toe um, seven days a week without fail, never, ever. And I, I maybe put lotion on head to toe maybe two times a week now. I don't feel dry. I don't have breakouts like I did. Oh, that's the same. same with mental me. clarity. Yeah. My mental clarity has been, um, says the girl who now can't finish the sentence, but, but my, I've, I've felt so much more clear and articulate in touch with how I'm feeling and, and expressing how I want to, you know, yeah. say that I feel. Um, my energy level has been really super high. Um, I feel like I've been able to plot out what my goals are each and every week mm-hmm. and actually follow through and stick to them. Every little, every little thing, my new year's resolutions, I have kept every single day in the month of January, which has never really happened oh, yeah, for me before. True. I've, if I've made one new year's resolution, I can usually stick to it pretty well, but I made, um, the decluttering an item every day. I made myself cl- cleaning goals. I have, I have cleaned ceiling fans, baseboards. I have done things that like I normally wouldn't have challenged myself to do. I've done them. I have given Abra a walk every single day this month, minus the days that I had to work 12 hour shifts, which means I'm away from the house more like 13 and a half hours. Mm So I didn't want to walk her in the dark. Um, But we have, we've got our sunshine. I have been so creative. I have accomplished Uh, so many flute goals. There have been days I've... I don't know if the day has gone by. I've practiced less than two hours. Some days I've practiced three, four, even five hours when you were gone. mm -hmm. Um, I have really felt like it was easy to set goals, break them down into small little challenges for myself, and I've kept every single one Mm -hmm. of them. And that's what I was trying to say when I was talking about my mental clarity. Like, I feel like it's, it's not been a... I haven't had to fight through... A sea of, um, you know, mental blocks to get to get things done that I wanted to get done. So that I that I'm attributing to the diet because I'm not normally that person who <laughs> breaks breaks her big rocks down into little rocks and actually picks them all up. <laughs> I think that's not usually me. So again, we can do a longer video on this at some point. Wow, is this already seven minutes long? Yeah. <laughs> it's his birthday today. Wish him a happy birthday. Mm, a few more hours. Yep. So we are jetting off to North Carolina tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow is not probably a cheat day, but Thursday and Friday will be. Um, we're going to be eating with friends and eating with family. And then we come back to Florida on Saturday, pick up mm-hmm. our pup who is staying. She's going to stay behind with um, her Florida grandma. And then come Sunday, we'll be back in the swing of things. Yep. Back to work. For sure. Back to strict. Back at it. Back at it. So. I think we're going to hop off here now. We wanted to watch. We love the show The Ultimatum. And there's a French version, so we're going to watch that and uh, drink our kombucha and call it a night. Hope you had a great January. Hope you got through the struggles. Hope you succeeded with whatever changes that you tried to make. Um, we feel like we, we did for sure. And again, it was something I think that I hope you would agree that most of you will carry on with you, whether it's... For one more day. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> or for years and years and years. That mm-hmm. looks funny. And we'll start a new month tomorrow and see where it takes us. Mm-hmm. In 11 more months, we will circle back and have World <laughs> yeah. Carnivore Month, January of 2024. <laughs> You're in review. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. See Good you night, later. guys.